firing for the first time from the semi-driver who shot this chilling video of Friday's deadly 40-car pileup in Oak Grove. It began with a semi sliding off the road. KCTV5's Betsy Webster looked into why the trucking industry is under scrutiny. <laughs> Now that we can do. Jamal Weaver's girlfriend was driving when he heard the first crash from the sleeper berth. He hopped down to chronicle what happened next. The couple told Inside Edition the cars weren't speeding, just sliding, one after another. It was the ice, and you cannot, you can't, no brakes will let you stop on ice. Period. Yeah, they weren't speeding at all. They yeah. were actually, for real, for going They were like trying to slow everybody 15, in the ice. miles per hour. Shocking, really. Jason Roth is a lawyer who has worked with commercial trucking for almost two decades. The number of people that had affected was what was shocking to me. You'll hear truckers say the problem's not with them, but with the drivers of passenger cars. And that might very well be the case. But you could also argue that commercial drivers have a duty that is greater. Tractor trailer weighs up to 80,000 pounds, whereas a passenger vehicle is, what, two or 3,000 pounds. And so uh, an out-of-control tractor trailer uh, can cause a lot more harm. That's why the industry is subject to these additional federal regulations, which specify using, quote, extreme caution in adverse weather. Roth notes that we all have access to real-time weather on phone apps, but truckers also have communication systems like this one to get info from home base without taking their eyes off the road. And it's essential that carriers don't let deadlines sway decisions. We don't know if any pressure to keep the wheels moving played any role in this wreck. All Tanika Evans knows is that she'll never forget it. I was really shaken. Like, it's a scary feeling, especially when you're involved in it. Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. We spoke with OOIDA, a trucking industry group, and they say the problem is not a shortage of drivers, but high turnover. And that means more inexperienced drivers on the roads with you. Only weeks ago, Walmart said that it will give its truck drivers a $1,500 yearly raise. And the company hopes that that move will help them hold on to the drivers that they currently have.